Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you can see today we're going to be taking a look at the Unified Minds pre-release cards. Now what these are, these are the uh, seeded packs in a pre-release kit or a build battle kit, you'll get one of these four, plus four packs of the new set. So we're going to go through them and I'll show you the promos, but in addition to the promos, usually the build and battle kits will have some additional rares in there that are hollows within the main set. Meaning that the only way to get them is from... Uh, these, similar to, you know, when theme decks have non-hollow versions of hollows and hollow versions of non-hollows. Alright, so we have, this is our Tapu Fini Unified Minds pre-release promo. This is Black Star promo SM203. You can see it, it's the Tapu Fini from the set, but it has uh, alternate art and it's hollow and it has the Unified Minds symbol on it. And then we're going to hit some trainers. These are mainly used for building your deck with. So we've got Fresh Realm, Copycat, Cynthia, Communication. Then we go into the first of two uh, halves of the deck, really. So there are, each of these has two out of four um, sets of cards, basically. One of them always corresponds to your promo. So one is going to be the Tapu Fini one. And then we have uh, one of the other three at random. As you can see here, we have the one that deals with Amoongus. So we have a Shroomish a Breloom, three Fungus, uh, two of the regular set Amoongus, I've got a Bug Catcher, a Lily, Looker, Communication, these are some more trainers, U-Turn Board, and worth noting that the trainers, even if they're not from this set, they do retain their original set symbol and numbering. They're just in here to make the deck. Okay, so we have Ordino, we have three Snorund, and then we have two Frostlass. Now, Frostlass... It's one of the cards that I was mentioning earlier. Oh, I've got a code card at the back there. In the main set, Frostlass is a foil. But in the Build and Battle Kits, exclusive to the Build and Battle Kits, uh, you're going to get it in non-foil. So, the way it works is, as I said, if you get the Tapu Fini one, you are guaranteed two of these non-hollow Frostlass. If you get one of the other three, you have a one in three chance at getting one of these non-hollow Frostlass. Sorry, you, are, you have a 1 in 3 chance of getting 2 copies of the non hollow Frost Lass. Alright, so let's open the next one. This is Necrozma. These are actually a lot easier to get a hold of than they used to be, because they used to be just where they could only be sold at pre-releases and they were run for the event, but now they're sold um, after the event for quite a while, even at places like GameStop and stuff, so it's not hard to get a hold of them anymore. So here we have our Necrozma promo, it is Black Star promo 204. Um, so you can see the nice exclusive artwork there, nice foiling, nice unified mind symbol. Of course, all of these uh, do have staff versions, which are given out to people who staff the events rather than uh, playing in them. Oh, we have the Amoongus half again here. And they will come in a pack. The staff, the staff packs come sealed with all four staff promos together. All right. So then, for the Necrozma half, we have an Necrozma who is—he's a rare, but he's always non-foil in the set. And we have some Cubones and some Alolan Marowak. Same with him; he is always non-foil in the set. All right. Now let's open the Amoongus one. So we have a Moongus promo there, very nice artwork again. You can see some Fungus is hiding there behind him. Unified Mind Stamp, this is Black Star promo 202. Now, I don't know if one of these uh, promos was much more playable than the others. This, this is our uh, <laughs> Moongus set again. Um, I know that with some pre-releases, there's one out of the four that you're really desperate to try and pull. Uh, but in this one, I'm not sure if there's a really good one. And then we have... Uh, the Fighting type, which is, I'm guessing, the Terrakian one. And so then the rare in this is Metacham, and Metacham is always a rare in the set. So he's not an exclusive one. And then finally, we'll take a look at the Terrakian. I wonder if we'll go uh, 4 for 4 on every kit having the Amoongus half in it. That would be kind of silly. Alright, so we have... There's our Terrakian, there's his exclusive foil artwork... He is Black Star Promo 205. And we have our trainers. And yeah, we got uh, the 
Amoongus half again. Whether the Amoongus is the rare from his half, but he's, again, just a regular rare in the set, so nothing exclusive to it there. We have our trainers from other sets to round it out. And then we have the Metatite and the Metachams again. So that is what you're going to be looking for if you're picking up these kits. So you've got your four promos, which are exclusive to the kits, but then you have your Frostlass, who comes either with Tapu Fini or has a one in three chance of coming with the others. Uh, it's interesting that this set only has one of these. Anywhere, it can range anywhere from, I think, zero exclusive uh, cards to the pre-release kits up to five or six, as we had with Evolutions. But that is just a quick look at what is going to come in your Unified Minds pre-release kits. We had a quick look at the pre-release promos and we saw the exclusive non-foil. Uh, I'll probably try and do this again for other sets when the other sets come out so we can see what it is you should be looking for, what's exclusive, what you're going to need to completely finish your master set. All right, so as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>